All right, guys, we're up and running. And uh, we're running two batteries on this unnamed bike today because we put the uh, second battery on. So we're running with 40 amp hours of juice here. So we'll have to see uh, how long I'm going out today. I got, a, I got a bunch of things to do. I should be doing a video, but I am doing a video. Just doing a uh, ride video. Cause I'm all out of them. So, well, I actually have two ride videos. Both of them are uh, short because one, I got caught in a uh, in a hailstorm, and the second one, I got caught in rain. So, so I got the uh, GPS on today. See how uh, accurate the speedometer is. It looks pretty good. Bolt says 12. Got the uh, controller on this thing too. So. I've got a, uh, I'm gonna increase the size of the crank on this thing. And I also got a different cassette for it. As right now I'm ghost pedaling at 35, 37 miles an hour all the way around. Pretty good. Speedometer is accurate on this one. And uh, I only have it in three. I'll punch it up on the next uh, hill, see what happens. It's like, uh, got the new uh, hybrid tires on it. So they're riding out nice. A lot of gears, and we're up to 40 miles, 41 miles an hour. So this thing is in race mode, and uh, I can go right along at 29 miles an hour, no problem, 30. Don't know how much battery it'll eat. Let's see if I can catch, nope. Of course, I can't catch the light. It's definitely pretty zippy in this uh, race gear here. But I probably ought to dial it back a little bit. Drop it down into the uh, S mode. So that's going right along 26 miles an hour. So that was also pushing uh, about 1,100 watts at that point. About 1,000 watts cruising along at 26 miles an hour. So I got the shed up yesterday, which uh, I sent out a little... Uh, short on that thing was uh I, i've built those things before i know they're no fun but I'll tell you not a lot of security in those things you get a screwdriver you can get in no problem so it's uh it's not terribly cold today I'm trying to see my phone is uh nah, it's on the uh speedometer thing so i can't get the temperature kicking this thing back to three but three is pretty good three's trucking along at like 20 miles an hour so this bike's definitely peppy and keep the speed up and not eat batteries like crazy. The thing about this bike though is pretty smooth, I gotta tell you. I got one of my new helmets on. It's got directionals in it, guys. I got a blinking light. I got blinking lights all over the place today, so if they hit me, not my fault. With 32 miles an hour cruising down here, comfortable pace. We're in pass three, like I said. Yeah, I wanna get home and uh Take that Hanavier out and uh, do a little hill climb with that. I wanted to do a range test on that too, but it's not going to happen today. And uh, maybe I'll take the uh, X Premium, not Premium, the X uh, P 3.0, take that over to the hill and see how that does on the hill. I don't expect it to do very well, but. We'll find out so we can compare the two together. I was thinking about taking those out today, doing a rain test, range test on it, but I put this controller in this bike a week ago, over a week ago, and haven't got it out yet. So let me get for mileage on this thing. 23 miles in total. So that's what happens when you get a couple of bikes at the same time. Get that electric X Peak, got this one and get that Hanavier in. And we got another one coming, guys. So it's gonna be a new ride for me, that's for sure. I'm waiting for the shipping before I go and say too much about it. But uh, it's supposed to be shipped out this week, I believe. They had to wait till the first of the month. Their quota for last month was already up. And, but I'm pretty excited about this. This is a uh, company that I definitely wanted to uh, rep. So this is a hill here, we're going up 20, 18 miles an hour. They're not bad, and I don't have a punch way up either. But that's the same as Magicycle. So this thing is supposed to throttle to 30. I have to try it. 
Yeah, I don't think it does. I thought I'm almost down to 20. 20 it kicks in, so still set at 20. But yeah, this is the, uh, the fastest ride I've had in a while. So I got a couple videos I got to do. I promised somebody I would do a, uh, a change of a freewheel and a crank, and uh, I got to do that. I, I know I've done it before, but I uh, wanted to see it done on a new, so that's what we're going to do. I haven't done one in a while, I guess. In my older videos, they don't look as good. The newer videos look better. That's not, no one ever looks back at the older videos. Just get screwed up with the shifter because it's different from all the rest of them. I like this one better, but it's hard when you're used to one, get used to another one. So I did uh, adjust the suspension seat post on this. And I adjusted the seat. It feels better today. So yeah, doing that shed, those things are no fun to put together, but it took me all day. It took me 13 hours, plus I had uh, time in it the night before. probably had another four hours in it the night before. So got some of the bikes in there now. Put a shelf in there with uh, some of the bike stuff on it. But like I said, had to, um, had to make room because at least one trike coming in. Those things take up space. Possibly another one or... I also got somebody who wants me to do a video on this uh, radar, which I want to do too, but uh, you got to do it at night because it's all lit up and you can see it better. I'm sure you guys can't really see it now. It was windy yesterday, I'll tell you. Still windy today, but not like yesterday. Yesterday was really bad. Of course it was because I was trying to put a shed up and with paper light sheet metal. Kept blowing around all over. Got to screw it in, it blows, you know? So I took, uh, like I said, I got caught in a rainstorm the last time. I took that hand of it. I don't even know how far we're into this. I always forget to set the trip. Oh, I do have a, on a, the Garmin's got it. And the Garmin says we we're seven. And then I got a nice tall 34 gear, just in case you had to hobble that thing home, but. Definitely needs it, because right now the throttle is faster than pedaling. So, because I got caught in the rain and I throttled that thing home because I was ghost pedaling and I was going slower without the throttle than I was with the throttle. So, and uh, it's a pretty fun video because I went down the rail trail at about uh, oh, 20, 25 miles an hour because it was pouring rain. And uh, there was a couple people out there, but I slowed way down the minute I saw them. But I was trying to get home. And uh, boy, did that thing get muddy. Rail trail had mud all over it. It's a bad thing about the rail trails this time of year. I went out with the X Premium once. And uh, I was on a dirt trail and, man, let me tell you, I had that thing submerged at some point. So I think, uh, the camera around my neck, which is the DJI Action 4, the newest camera. I finally think I figured the mic thing out. Um, I was running the, uh, the older mics because people were complaining that it wasn't uh, in both channels of the speakers. And come to find out, the guy that was told me that, He's like the only guy that told me too, and I'm like, huh? And uh, I checked it when I, I'm at work. I put my headphones in, I listened to it. I says, damn, he's right. Only one channel. So I've been putting it in mono to solve that problem. But then I switched to the other mic and I didn't have the problem. So I knew it probably was a setting or something that I was doing wrong. Yeah, apparently it's not something I was doing wrong. It's only on headphones. And uh, you do have to change the setting on it. No one knows why it does it, but uh, they have a fix for it. So that's what I did. So I'm hoping it works today. If not, I'll change it to mono, no big deal. But I'd rather run this mic because I don't have to have all the baggage hanging off my camera, so. And I like this four over the uh, three. It does less videos when you do a recording. 
instead of dealing with 10 videos, I'm dealing with like five. So I like that. It's easier for me. Because with the picture in the picture, I got to line up each video and line up all the, uh, the audio with it. So a lot easier than the GoPros though. The GoPros, the DJI goes, you know, video one, video two. I mean, it's a big number, but they name it one, two, three, four. GoPro just seemed to randomly select numbers and you'd have to guess which one was next. So I'd actually go in and I'd look at the uh, time count to try to figure out which one was the next one. I'm glad I got rid of that camera. Bruce, don't buy a GoPro. Buy anything but a GoPro. We got a new bell on here today. It's a different kind than I normally get. Because I was gonna, I took the other one, I put the other one on the, the uh, Hanavia because it has the air tag in it. And this thing's bike's got a place to hide an air tag. It comes on the bike. I figured, yeah, I'll do that. So I bought another bell. I don't really like where I got it mounted though. I'd have real estate on the handlebars for the most part. I could be using my directional on my helmet here. I use my directional on the helmet. And doesn't this bike have directionals? Or was that another? That's the other bike. Never mind. I got too many bikes now, I guess. Too many bikes is, is not a problem now. Take too many over, not enough. I got a crew of guys who wants to go for rides this summer. I said, well, I got plenty of helmets, plenty of bikes, and we'll take them all for a ride. Some of these guys have never been on bikes before. So they got e-bikes. Maybe they'll buy some, I'm hoping. It'd be nice to have some people that, you know, hey, like Richard does, he's got guys that ride so he can go out and do a ride with him once in a while and uh yeah i'm the only guy that i know with an e-bike so so that trike that's coming in i tell them people i'm getting a trike and they're like really a trike an electric trike there's no one ever heard of them up here so it's not a northern thing that's for sure if i was down in florida i could probably sell a slew of those things but i'm not in florida yet so and it's wide, kind of concerns me a little bit on some of these roads that are pretty narrow, so I'm going to have to pick and choose where I go. But I'm looking at these um, cargo racks that you can buy that goes in your two-inch hitch. And I'm thinking about maybe um, when it comes in, I'll take some measurements. Maybe I can throw the thing on the back and take it down on rail trails and check that out. So manufacturers are pushing trikes so my buddy at, a, at electric out there he uh he's hoping that i sell some more bikes so he can justify sending out a uh, trike to me so he wants to send me a trike so if i end up getting a bike from electric it looks like the first one will be a trike that uh one bike i don't know i got uh, mixed emotions about it when i first saw it i was like yeah i don't want that thing i mean what if the thing ghost pedals at 15 miles an hour? You can't fix it. Um, and no one's got one out there, so I just hate to, hate to drop the coin on the thing to get it to find out I've made a huge mistake, but I don't know. I thought about it, even though I initially said no. There's a lot of interest. People have, I didn't think, you know, electric being budget bike you know for the most part and that's they're saying this bike is coming out really cheap for what it is and maybe it is but uh there's some belt drives out there for the same money or less so i don't know i thought it was kind of expensive for electric let's put it that way again i would have been all about that bike if they pulled it out in a 24 inch but to come out with a 20 inch $2,500 bike? I don't know. This thing is smooth riding now. And it's peppy. I like the fact that we're scooting right along here today. I can tell you, this ain't gonna be no uh, hour and a half ride, not at this pace, which is all right by me. Less video to, uh, to edit. And I'm gonna try to get current, guys, so once the weather changes, uh, we'll get the videos out there right away, so. I won't be breaking them up, but like I've been doing them all winter. 
we'll just do a, uh, a shorter ride or, I don't know, I'll just cut it up and take the best parts out and throw the rest away. People have been doing a lot of fireworks down here. Just wish they wouldn't have to litter the whole place with the crap. So I like these mirrors so much, I went out and bought a second set. I've got them on the uh, X-Peak now. And I did change the mirrors on the hand of here as those things were looking at my shoulders. They had a, I couldn't do bar ends on that because the, uh, the twist throttle is a closed end on it. So you'd have to uh, change the throttle on it. And that thing does not have plugs on it. So one of my subs out there, which he watches, so he's probably watching. You asked me about the light. I just haven't got back to you. So the light doesn't plug in. It's, it's part of the harness, so um, at least that I could see. But um, I did take it out at night. That thing has a pretty nice light. But I did get a light for uh, this bike and for the X-Peak. When I get down to a spot here, you know, in fact, I'll pull over down here. We'll walk around this unnamed bike. And uh, I'll show you the light that I got for this one and the X-Peak. It's uh, got two LEDs inside of it where, like the Elite one, yeah, these brakes are squeaky on this thing. You might end up watering those brakes after a while. The water's going over the fall pretty good today. And then a little spot over here. And I don't have a hand camera, so we'll just have to uh, do this with my chest cam. All right, guys. Here it is, the unnamed bicycle here, which is a pretty nice looking bike. I like those tan walls on that thing. So we get the mirrors, a screen with a, don't look at the name. Um, battery's down to half, which doesn't seem right, but maybe we're just running on our back battery. I haven't looked. Yeah, nine speeds on this thing. Directionals for the helmets right here. My Garmin, flashing light, camera in the front. My new bell. Here's the light in the front here, guys. See that light's got two two um, bulbs in the thing. There's the new tires on it, and uh, that's this side of it. So that's it. Figured I'd give you a walk around. Got the uh, sting in the back here that's flashing. That has the radar in it that talks to the Garmin. So, so I'm not too impressed if we're already half a battery down. Actually, I should have checked the, uh, well, for whatever reason, we're only running on the front battery here. That's why she's down. Nope, we're only running on the front battery. So I'll have to check that out and find out why. So it could be, I know I had checked it before, but it could be the, um, I don't know what it could be to tell you the truth. Not without testing it. So we'll get rolling here. Battery's up to uh, three quarters again, because it rested. That's all right, we'll get home. We'll uh, take the other bike out and uh, get some video done on that like I wanted to. So I haven't charged that battery in the back in a while. Quite a while, actually. All right, guys, so we're off and running again. So like I said, I gotta do some more videos today. So this might be a, a one and done video ride for uh, next Saturday, because I don't have a ride. Like I said, I want to get more current anyways. And the weather's getting nicer. And if I could start getting in rides during a week, too, that'd be nice. So far, I haven't had that uh, luck. It's been raining or too cold or raining and cold. Two times, like I said, I snuck out. Got stuck in a rainstorm and I got stuck in a hailstorm. So well, what time is it? It is... Can't tell because I'm still... You know what? I don't think we need this GPS... It's 2.38, so I got plenty of time to get another ride in. But like I said, I got some videos to do. I got a computer one I got to do that uh, I promised somebody I would do. And I also have uh, to change the uh, freewheel and crank. So I'm changing that on the... I'm going to put the the uh, crank from one of the other electric bikes which is a 52 so i'm going to change it to a 52 which isn't terrible 
but I want that bike for the trails too. So I don't want to get it too big of a crank on it. And that's why I'm putting that big gear in the back, just in case I had to, um, I gotta watch what I'm doing here because I got cars coming and an Amazon truck in the road. How you doing? Yeah, so I gotta do that one. So I'm changing the uh, 52 tooth on that crank on that bike. And I'm going to put the 11, which it has an 11 on it now, but I'm going to a 34 gear on that thing. So that 34 gear will give me that granny gear. If you ever had to drive it home, you could always put it in that. Or you're taking it out and you're trying to get up a hill in the dirt on a rail trail or something, you drop it down in that gear and you can kind of like walking at that point. So that's what we're doing on that one. This bike here is going to get a 58 tooth on the crank and it's getting a bigger gear in the back too. Same reason. It's got an 11 on it so I'm not going to get any more speed out of it. The crank will give me some more speed but um, I do want that bigger gear so I bought a cassette for this one. So I, I'll show you what the difference is. So the cassette came in, all the gears are loose on it because you can change the gears. It was just easier to buy the whole thing the way I wanted it. Not that this one's a bad one. This one's a decent one, but I bought a little bit better one. Let's put it that way. And the uh, chain's going to have to be lengthened on this one, I believe. So I got another chain so that I can cut pieces off of it. I know a lot of people, oh yeah, we might have to check out those guys. Like I said, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Hey Bruce, I think I'm getting those quad brakes in anodized red. I guess they were right about these brakes. So what are we at? We're at 14 miles and the battery is half used. Ugh. Uh oh. What did we lose? That's what I don't like about this pouch in the back with the water bottle. There's no way to really tighten it up in there. So let's see the front camera is not too bad after hitting that. Just went to the side a little bit. Almost looks like I could uh, bring this picture in a little bit to uh, make my head bigger. My head's big enough though. Microphones, cameras, we got everything we need. Except the water bottle that fell off. But uh, like I said, I don't really like that back there. No place to put a water bottle on this unless I put it on the handlebars and summer's coming. I don't normally drink water on this in the winter. So I have to go out for a long time before I probably need a drink of water. But come summertime, water's good. I'm gonna knock this thing back to two conserve on a little bit of battery since we're only running on one. Still going along pretty good, but that's that torque sensor, so. At uh, 24 miles an hour in two. I haven't figured out how to put this thing in uh, Candace. Like I said, probably never will anyways. Doesn't really matter. So my subs are growing. It's that time of year though. People are starting to think about e-biking and they're, uh, they're watching, so that's good. Hope they go up enough that uh, more and more manufacturers start to look at me seriously. We'll get some, some other stuff in here. Like I said, uh, electric's a really tough cookie to get, and on a first name basis with the, the manager in the um, influencers department. So it didn't hurt that I was uh, doing those videos on the X Peak trying to fix that problem. So I found a, uh, a website the other day. Electric bikes, electric bikes. And uh, get my kickstand now. Richard, I know you don't hardly watch, but uh, you, huh, I had the kickstand now. That's something Richard does a lot. I do it a lot too. The good thing is the kickstand does never hurt you because uh, even if it hits, it just goes up. So if it was the other way around, you'd be in trouble. So we're dropping the gears on this to get up this hill because like I said, I got it in two. The wattage right now with me pedaling is only at 300 and something. Let me punch it up to three and see what it does. 
First of all, we're going faster. But we're eating seven, about 600 watts. So yeah, there was a big difference there. Somebody's cooking something, smells good. Barbecue time, weather's getting better. Actually, this is the first day we've seen sun in a while, so weather's been pretty crappy, but hey, what it is in uh, up here, we get what we get. Yeah, this thing, uh, I don't know, in two is not terrible. Kind of like the uh, deer was in five. <laughs> like I said, if I push on the pedals, it picks up. You can hear that motor pick up when I pedal harder. Again, that's the torque sensor, guys. So Richard bought himself a uh, mid-drive. When he was buying that, I'm like, you ever driven a mid-drive? I don't think he answered me. Well, he's selling it now. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the fact that you got to shift. Uh, he just likes to drop it in seventh and leave it in seventh or whatever gear it's in. I shift all the time, so it doesn't bother me. You hear the click and that's the shifting. He just makes up the difference with the throttle. And I don't touch my throttle, except when I take off. So, like I said, that's why it doesn't bother me. I don't think, honestly, like I said, I like my mid-drive. I only have one mid-drive bike, but I do like it on the rail trails and stuff. I don't think I would choose it to go for a ride on the road. Um, I have, don't get me wrong there. I don't know, you know, it's it's more effort and I want to move a little faster on the road, so not what I want to drive. Because by the time I get home, the times that I've taken it, I've gone on pretty long trips too with it and got home and I was pretty tired. So this thing here, nine miles an hour and two, almost 10 going up this hill and I'm pedaling pretty freaking good. But again, can't really see the water. The wattage is, uh, 230 something. So if I pedal harder, yeah, the water picks up. So it's sensing me not pedaling that hard, which is a good thing, especially if you want to conserve on battery. Might be brakes coming for this thing. But right, we'll ride it a couple more times before I go buying brakes. I said wouldn't hurt my feelings. I don't want the red ones anyways. But if they don't need it, they claim that if you go to a uh, different compound on a pad, they're better. But uh, there's a pretty known fact that these brakes are not that good noise-wise. But it's doing a nice job uh, conserving the battery here because we haven't dropped another bar yet. So these tires are pretty quiet, which I knew they would be. Not as quiet as the... Uh, as my... Uh, Speed B, V speed, speed B, I don't know. The V try is a speed, I think it's speed V or something. But those are really street tires. And I wanted to go with a combination on this bike so that we can use it on the rail trails. And now I got those tires sitting at home. I don't know what to do with them. But I got a lot of tires sitting at home. And now I got a shed to put them in. Now every time I hit a little bump, I'm paranoid I'm gonna lose my water bottle. I got a car pacing me that's been pacing me for a while here. Thank you. We're gonna skip the rail trail. Again, I don't wanna be uh, stuck on that rail trail with a bunch of people. Like I said, sun came out today. They haven't been out for a while, so I'm gonna punch this thing up to three again to get by this highway. And we're going to run this one because we, oh, I didn't run it, green green, but I was going to run it. I'm going to make this light, looks like I'm going to be glad when I don't have to wear these big gloves anymore. Put them on today, they're on the, uh, the coolest setting, but it's not warm warm today. But we got a wind today, so hey, the gas station's coming along. I don't know why we need another gas station down here, unless they're going to do trucks this is a lot of trucks this is commercial area so i was looking forward to running this with dual batteries but uh guess not today but i guess we had to find out that it wasn't working so at least i wasn't planning a huge ride 
I actually want to go out today and feel it out. See what kind of mileage we were going to get with it. Battery's half used up and we're at uh, 18 miles. But I was also pushing it at the beginning too, so. This too is not bad, especially when you're pressing on the pedals. A lot of bottles still back there, I just felt back there. So this thing's a thousand watt motor and uh, feels pretty good. This thing, guys, is not street legal in the state of New Hampshire, which is crazy, but who's gonna know? Yeah, this bike is technically a, a uh, out of class vehicle because there is no classification for it. So they said the only place you can ride it is private property and you can ride it on trails that are designated for four wheel, four wheelers, you know, the uh, ATVs. This is basically an ATV, they, they're considering it, so. And I believe if you're gonna ride on those trails, you're gonna have to get an ATV certificate because uh, it helps pay for the maintenance of those trails. So if they're classifying it as a ATV, if you're on them, you gotta have it. And they do patrol those. But like I said, who the heck's gonna know that this thing is not a 750 motor in it? And it's not like I'm killing it here. So this is a busy road. I think I'll punch this back up to three. And here's how guys on these uh, unicycles, whatever you want to call them, on the rail trail. We've got for a time, we're at one hour, four minutes. Like I said, I usually go out probably two and a half hours, cut that into two 30 minute videos. So I don't know, like I said, I'm trying to get current. Maybe I'll chop this one down into one video for next week and be done with it. I'm gonna screw me up when I go to edit. I just tip the camera back down again. <laughs> so it looks like we got three, four bars left. So it's a little past the halfway mark at this point, but I'm also climbing a hill here. But I bet you thing would be fully charged if we had the second battery running here. Looks like a cell phone. I think I'll go back and see if it is a cell phone. Not that it matters, I wouldn't know what to do with it anyways. Oh yeah, that thing's nice. Looks like a cell phone to me. And it's pretty smashed up too. But it's working. Put it somewhere here. Maybe I can find the owner for it. I don't know how I would, but maybe. If it's unlocked, I could probably do it, but I'm sure it's not unlocked. Now I gotta try to turn around again. Yeah, so I could tell it was Kyle's. Well, it might not be. It might be a text from Kyle, but. Yeah, so three o'clock now. Coming up on uh, 20 miles here. Like I said, I think I'll jump on the other bikes Try to get the uh, ride in on those, just swap the camera over. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna lose the camera here and I'm not dropping another battery in it. So uh, you guys have a uh, good rest of the day or a good night, whatever it is, and uh, I'll catch you next time.